like they're doing the tools now. Yeah, we got here at the exact wrong time. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start this, or we're going to start this. I never said it that way. Hello. This is real. What is, <laughs> what is my intro? Hello, this is Jeffrey. Hello, this is Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage. And today we are here at an estate sale. And now we already uh, shopped it. So I can tell you it's going to be pretty good. And get ready to shop. All right, we are headed into the estate sale and hopefully we do well. Barb was telling me about this and that there were some longer burgers that were like $5 each. So I will take a look. Hello. <laughs> so I'll take a look inside and see what we can find. Oh yes, here they are. So they are, oh. Oh yeah, half price, okay, good. So like you got this one here how much oh they're ten dollars each okay so cool i'm gonna get the clover ones because those are gonna be five dollars each oh and this clover one over here that is beautiful with the little there's a lot of clover ones barb yeah i thought there was maybe i'm glad they're still here longer burgers no longer in business is there a way to like have a bag or something well i thought there was but i don't see any i'll ask because i i don't have enough uh hands for it this is really good so um we're actually here 30 minutes before they open but this estate still company is known for that so you kind of just have to even though it's like advertised at a, at a time you just arrive as early as you can and hope for the best i don't think any of these i mean maybe a couple of these baskets have sold but there's a lot left and this is day three 50 percent off I'm going to get some of these others. The ones with the liners and the, the like the fabric inserts are more desirable just because you're getting more to them rather than the ones that are just empty or they don't have a liner. But like, look at this one. This would be so good for Halloween. I'm going to get that one. And these are cute sizes too. So to ship them won't take much. And I think Barb's bringing some bags. Oh, here's how much liners are over there. But to like the figure. Bags are out here. Oh, nuts. Oh crap. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so yes, it's fill a bag for how much, Barb? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have fun filling this bag then. They've got a little do little horse and a penguin. Oh yes, I need to. Oh, I need to put this down. Here are the styles. Yeah. So those are all half price. How much? Oh, yeah. What do you think about this little hedgehog for twelve fifty? Well, it's up to you. Know. I found this enamelware, so I'll put that in my little half-off bag. I'm gonna head over to the kitchen, get away from the music. They've got these mashers over here too. All these mashers for like a pestle set, or one may actually that's called a a pestle for a, a ricer. And then you have the blue and peach luster. And then some other, I like these little jars here. It's little ball jelly glass jars. I'm gonna get those, put those in my bag as well. I like those. So let me go ahead and do that. There's a little restaurant wear bowl over here too. This one right there, that's nice. And then I like this. I'm gonna get that little, that one right there. I have all these gem shores. They would be half price and you can't put them in the bag though. So there's this owl that's actually really cool. And I don't really buy a lot of Jim Shore, but these are like a resin type material, usually made by Inesco, yeah, Inesco 2013. So not truly like vintage, vintage, but that's very cool. We've got the, we got Olaf and the, the, this is nice though for 10, considering that. And then they have this little beagle that has some damage to the ear. I don't know, I just, I don't really want to pay even half, so, <laughs> for what's left, so I, don't, I won't do that. My bag, I've been trying to fill it, and I got some stuff in there, but I still have a lot of room. Oh yeah, they've got the jewelry, okay, and then, oh, see now look at all this kind of stuff. I could put all this in my bag because it's so small, look how cute that is. Little postcard thing, I'm going to get that. Let's see here. Do I, well, I don't really want any of these things. I mean, a lot of it's on the newer side. 
That's pretty, all the green in there. This little heart, Franco, made in Italy. So it's just a little, just a little pill box or jewelry box. That's kind of fun, I'll just get that too. At this point, I'm not, it's not like I'm saving my space in my bag for anything else. I got this whole bag. Boy, if the longer burgers were in fill of it, I just fill that bag right up with those longer burgers. Hallmark ornaments. I could literally take every one of those and put them in this bag. But I don't want them. So that solves that. Uh, people do sell Hallmark ornaments. It's just, it's not what I'm going for today. Okay, so now we're out in the garage and they have some like little pumpkins and things. And you could kind of put all these in the bag too. I mean, that's made in China. So not terribly old or anything. Yeah, I went and actually got some more longer burger. This is cute. I got some more longer burger bag, or more, more longer burger. Which my doodles? I cannot think for the life of me. It's too early to think. More of those baskets. So I put those in my box. And we're gonna check around inside there one more time. I put, yeah, it's still a bag for $10, not five. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, here's like a whole grab bag of things. You can get both of those. I'm gonna go look at the longer burgers again because I just, I don't know. They're a, real, they're a really good price in my opinion. So I'm gonna go check those out. We got some sad irons, some scissors, utensils. Fine, good. Other utensils there. Some insulators, pottery ones, and glass. What you? Oh, you got a full bag. Well, kind of. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Do are there any longer burgers you'd like to get, or you think I should get? Um. Oh, like that you didn't already get? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you probably got the best ones. I mean, mm. the ones with the red and white line are kind of cute. Yeah, for Christmas. I've got one too. It's a tiny one. This says, uh, well, I don't see a date on it. Hmm. Can't read the date at least. Mm. Now, this is a mystery that I wish I could figure out. Hold on, I'm gonna put my bag down. That's a huge vase, that one. Yeah, and I was looking at it the other day, when I, you know, on the first day, and I kind of liked it, but I can't figure out what in the heck this mark is. And I went home and I tried to figure it out. And... Oh, Western, it's Western something, like Germany Do you think or something? It's Western. I mean, it's the style of it is, but I just wish I knew what it actually was. It's very faded. I know. It does have a chip, though, is, which is, I mean, but it's like I would have to keep it for myself. I mean, that's, I don't yeah, want to deal with Yeah, to that. ship it is a lot. So I just decided I don't like the colors quite enough. Well, for $10. I know. Nice. Okay, I didn't even see this room. We got animals. Well, I'm putting them in my bag, so they're whatever I want. They're not priced at anything anymore. All right, well, I don't really want any, there's this Cocker Spaniel. There's a gum parker, but this one looks hand painted by like a craft. It says Rob. It's too bad it says that. Little squirrel, get the squirrel. Little bear. I'm still selective with it though. Yeah. Just get the squirrel. A little update of what I've got in my bag. I went back through the longer burger room and the baskets are, you can't put the baskets in there, but you can put the liners in there. So these, I just thought, I don't know if I have anything that'll fit them, but even if I sell the, some of these liners as like a, a set, I also got some like wooden spools from the kitchen. Two of those, I got more of the pestles. I got three pestles that would look kind of cool together. And they're just like really interesting looking. Let me kind of show you what I got here. Oh gosh, glassware, oh I added this too. The Las Vegas, I love the Starburst in it. Got like a random tray, a baby, 
That's a freaky baby. Some other like little, oh, these are cool. There's two pyramids. Those are, those are good. I like those. And then of course, all the baskets I have set aside for the regular half off area. So I'm doing pretty well. Barb, do you want to show what you got so far? I think we're about done too. Wow, you got yours really full. Well, kind of. Oh yeah, I looked at that pumpkin. Pumpkin. That's for you probably, right? No. Oh, okay. I, I don't think. A Mark McGuire ornament. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, right here. It's hard to get stuff out. Eh. Oh, a picture. That's really pretty. It's kind of neat. The I gilding's thought. a little screwy on the yeah. head corner, but it's oh. lovely. And some, uh, the I didn't even runners, see those things. A towel, some ornament, Hallmark ornaments, a restaurant wear cup, a planter. That's about what I've got going on. Yeah. Wow. That I like. I think the picture was maybe the one of the best things. Well, in my opinion. Uh -huh. Do you think it's a print or a watercolor? What in the world is it? I don't know. It looks like a painting. I think so? I'd have to look closer. Yeah. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Very good. So I think we're ready to check out now. So we did really well. I'm excited about our purchases. All of the longer burger. Barb even made a last minute offer on something. Uh, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, it was a, it's a Stiff Snowman, and it was priced at 100 the first day, so it was supposed to be 50 today. I asked if she would do less on any of the Stiff, and she said no. Then when I was checking out, I said, could I leave you an offer on it of 25 And she said, oh, just take it now, then it's done. So, okay. <laughs> there you go. It pays to ask. Yes. Now, is that something that you're going to, what are you going to do with it? Well, I think that it's going to be for resale, okay. most likely. Yeah. Yeah. And you were... Yeah, like, I, I think everything in your... Is everything you got today for resale, or did you get anything for yourself? I did not. Maybe, like, a restaurant wear mug or something okay. was the last thing I need. But I got my mom the snowman, the Jim Shore snowman and cardinal. So those are for her. Were they, like, larger? Cause They're all, not that large. All no. the ones I saw were, like... Yeah, the snowman was... Only, the big ones were gone. This, mm -hmm. The snowman's, like, this high, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. I, I couldn't bring myself to get any of the gym shore because they were all on the smaller side. Some of them had damage if you started looking closely. And so I didn't want to do those. And none of those you couldn't put in the fill a bag. Those were only half price. Right. So, so I picked up a corn cob pipe at one point, which I think what I thought <laughs> was that. And I did not know that there was a 20, that it had to be under $10. So I, then I had to put that back. Um, although they didn't even look at our bags. I could have got it, but that's I don't, true. wouldn't have yeah. wanted to. But, I was thinking they were going to check the bags because how else are they supposed to like make sure that people don't do that? Oh my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to open the window. It is hot. <laughs> um, so all in all, we did really well and um, everything I got for resale. I'm excited about my longer burgers. I think they're going to do really well. And um, I'm trying to think. I forgot what else I got. I know, because you just throw it in the bag, and then you forget what it is. Uh, I, like I said, I got some of the... I showed a lot of it in the in the thing, but I got the pestles, the three of those, in different sizes. I think they would look kind of cute together in a grouping. Yeah. And then a couple wood spools, and just some random stuff. But even... We were here in uh, 30 minutes before it technically opened, and there was already, already other resellers loading up and leaving. And so, I should have known that, but I didn't know because the other day we were supposed to come together. So I came over an hour early to get line numbers. Well, I pull up and everybody's in there. So Jeffrey didn't get to go because I shopped and I was like, well, the, you know, the stuff that wasn't priced too high is pretty much picked over at this yeah. point. So we just came back today. So. Here we come. So we are now going to the auction. It says auction today. And there's actually not as many people here as there, there could, could be. be. Oh, Oops. Whoa, Nelly. Little bumpy. And now the preview photos weren't that great. There were, it was a lot of country stuff, a lot of like tools and things like that. So. Well, and it's been going on already for like an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, about two hours worth. So we're going to pop in, take a look, see what we can do. I'm going to buy a bottle of water at the, at the least so I, I can know. hydrate. Yeah, pull on in. Yeah. All right, yeah, like I said, they're already going on, but we're just gonna take a look. This is a really cool television. RCA Victor, I guess it's maybe a radio too? Not sure. That is neat. They have all these boxes full of glassware here. You've got 
some Fire Dawn pieces. You got some Fire King, this pipe with the bulldog on it. I think Barb's gonna get a number. She's feeling optimistic over there. I see her in line. I would have just wanted to look around and see. Looks like they're doing the auction stuff down there on the far end right now. And now if I get close, too close to it, it's uh, overpowering the audio. Little decorative glasses. Look at this big coffee jar. Doesn't have the lid. See, this is the kind of stuff I got my start doing. So you go to auctions like this. You buy a box like this for a dollar or two. You parse through it. You pull out the good stuff like your coffee jars and like maybe your interesting like little Avon bottles that, you, that look cool, tins. And then you gotta scrap the rest. Get rid of the rest. Seashell. You got a number, Barb? Yeah, we can just I don't think we're ever gonna get down to this far, so I should probably not even look at it. But yeah, you got like your general housewares. Maybe we should head over. Ooh, this is actually good. This red, that red is really good. Doesn't have the lid with it, but. Oh yeah. Yeah, I sold nice. that before. We should get maybe closer to where they're actually wow. selling things. They have all the furniture. I've bought some furniture at this particular auction before. And you just never know what you're going to get, but it seems like a little bit of a lighter crowd today. So that's yeah. cool. I think they're doing the tools now. Yeah, we got here at the exact wrong time. Oh, uh, well, who knows what we missed, like, as far as maybe we missed a lot of other kind of junky stuff. Like, the stuff that I saw was down here where we started. Now they have all this jewelry. That's a nice enameled wear piece. I guess we can look over these other ones carefully to make sure there's not anything really worth staying. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely stuff, but it's only a matter of like how much is it going to go for and how long do you have to sit around and wait for it because there's technically other things we could do today oh that's yeah that's cool i've sold this very planter before you know yeah like i was saying earlier we used to do this for hours on end but on an auction like this whenever you're when things are mixed in and you don't quite know what you're getting and you're gonna get a lot of extra stuff. It's hardly exciting, let's put it that way. And there's other things we could be doing today. It's a nice day, box full of hats. But yeah, I definitely got my start reselling, going to a lot of auctions like this. Look at the uniforms, that's cool. And that's just what how you learn. You buy a box full of random stuff, then you spend a few hours afterwards when you get home looking over everything, researching it, and kind of getting a feel for, this is a cool bottle. What does it say? Dairy, Dairy Lee Milk, oh, yeah. our new baby top bottle with like the faces on it. That's a cool bottle. Some ducks. There's a, a, a cookie jar by Bartlett Collins here. Oh, you might want to look at this box carefully and make sure there's not oh, any, no flamingos. any flamingos, because we've got a cockatoo. That's a pretty cockatoo. There's random birds. You've got yeah, there's a, a parrot. I would like this box, but yeah. like I said, to stand around all day for this one box, nah. Oh, he's so cute. Now you can put in bids and leave, yeah, but then true. you never know. Then you gotta come back, and then you gotta, you know, you know how it is. And and the thing about these box lot box lots is they might get confused and forget to do it where you put in your bid or get you the wrong box. Or... I think it's easier if you do it on a big piece of furniture. Yeah, yeah. on big, yeah. yeah. Then there's have all these uh, records. And then that's a nice piece of furniture there. I don't know why it's there. Maybe that's, why well, I don't know why yeah, that's there. It's weird that it's on the wagon. There, yeah, all the other furniture is not. You've got some ice cream cups over here. What is this? Oh, is that, I think that's to do oh, with- Oh, from music. music. Yeah. It just suddenly occurred to me because of the leer. Is it a leer or a liar? It onto the instrument and holds your music. Oh, okay. Oh, this little pin cushion is kind of cute too. Oh, hey, what is that? Let me see that. There's certain pin cushions like this that are pretty good. And um, this could be one of them, but they only had it priced at 450, so maybe not. I had a like a poodle one similar one time, but I think it was marked with a name though. Oh, okay. Yeah, and there's this artwork here. Looks like a print. Yes, yeah, a print. Lots of bottles. 
And then there's also this spiral. I like this glass too with this pinwheel on it. This is a nice little box. Got some, well, just a few things I like, but. So there's that and there's some of these little salt and pepper shakers right here. These mushrooms. There's a pair of those, like that, those would have been cool. Uh, some other little fun things, some VHSs. Ooh, these are cool too. The old curlers. Wow, I've never seen that type. Those are so cool. I would love those. I could start doing my hair. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and the knife blocks are fun. Yeah, oh, this yeah, kind of stuff I would nice. love to pick up, but yeah. it's at the, this is the very, like one of the last wagons. It's gonna take them about an hour and a half, two hours to get down here. So that's not what I'm going for. Oh yeah, Barb, and then we're gonna come back and then they're gonna be finishing up on the furniture that we don't want. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think. Um, I think what we're gonna do, I'll just we'll look a little bit more here and then we're gonna head over and be done with this. Bottles, magazines, American Rifle. <gasps> look at this, see now look, they've just got a random marigla mariglass, marigold glass swung, carnival glass, I might, all the words. Carnival glass marigold vase in this box with other stuff. <gasps> oh, look at these. There's a pair of those too. Those are good. Candlesticks. Oh, I, I would love this one too. See, and you don't know what you're gonna get. You can get those things. Did you get this random bean thing? But yeah, I would bid, you know, knowing that, I, okay, the, there's at least those two things. Piece of dragonware over here, I noticed. Chipped, but it's there. So maybe you, you know, maybe you, you, you go up to like $15 on this box. I'll, I won't be here to know what it does. But then you got all this like other kind of stuff that you could sell. So that's the great thing about auctions. You discover different things you never knew existed. Bottles, not really a big bottle person, and then more records. Yeah, so they are down there in his truck, and I think we're gonna go ahead and head out of here. You think? I guess. I'm not really in the mood to stand around and wait, but I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Yes. We'll make it count. Well, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.